Hello, this is Petrides reporting to you live from California Adventure. And a topic just struck me while I was sitting while I'm sitting here waiting for Miranda and Brett to come back from the a bug's life ride or something. And the subject is personal space. Now whenever I go to Disneyland, at least one time a family or a group of people will try to nuzzle their way in front of me on a line without fail. One time it was an Asian woman in front of it's a small world and she had a stroller, or at least Bryce says she had a stroller. But I think she just had a, a, a little girl, a daughter, who kept pushing her daughter in between me and Bryce's family. So it was like nine white people and then me. And so, it looked like I wasn't with them, but I was. But, uh... And so she kept pushing her little girl and then trying to get in front of me using the little girl. So if she got ahead of me, she could slip through. And at first I thought maybe the little girl has, has no con concept of, you know, hey, these people in front of me, I should probably, like, you know, stop that. No. No, the woman was purposefully using the little girl to try and cut in front of me, so I had to turn around with look. You need to stop, because I'm with these people. And she's like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, me being with them was all of a sudden, like, oh, if you're with them, then there's, I'm wrong for doing what I'm doing. And she was like, oh, no. Or she was thinking, like, oh, I'm, he's with those nine people. It would look kind of odd if I tried to push my way through nine other people. So, yeah. And then, again, today at the Haunted Mansion, uh, another group of Asian people tried to push their way. Not saying that, you know, this is a trend, it just seemed to happen that way. But there was a group of, you know, four people, and this woman kept trying to push her way past me in the Haunted Mansion dune buggy. As people try to do on that ride, they try to um, push their way to the dune buggy. But at first she wasn't succeeding, so every single time she tried to move forward, I, you know, unconsciously moved my arm back, and my arm was like elbow deep in cleavage. Why? I don't know. But then, she slipped past me, then her husband slipped past me, and then their other couple friends slipped, tried to slip past me, and I finally said, look, you need to stop. I'm with these people. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. And it's like, all of a sudden they realize, oh, I'm not doing this right. Uh, I'm doing a horrible thing. Which is ridiculous. What does my having, what does my being with these people have to do with, you're cutting in front of me. Even if I wasn't with those people, you're still cutting in front of me. What is wrong with these people? So yeah, that was interesting. Oh, and another incident goes way back. This isn't at Disneyland. This was in front of uh, one of the local theaters. Um, I had gone to this place called Fat Burger. And, or they sell fat burgers. Um, yeah. So I'm there. Oh, they're on their way back. So I'm there, and I'm eating my burger outside, and this random guy walks by and starts talking to me, and then he's curious about what I was eating, so he bends down and picks up my food and examines it, laughs at it, sets it down, and then walks away. I'm like, what the fuck? I threw the rest of the burger away, because it was just horrible. Hi! They took out the watermelon smell and replaced it with big old jets of water. Now I don't smell pretty. Well, that's good because that would have hurt me. Extremely. Why? Why would you smelling pretty make you not happy? Because I'm allergic to strong scents. Oh. But it's a very weak watermelon scent. Or at least it used to be. Now it's no watermelon scent. Yeah. The people backstage, they, the girls, when they use their hairspray, gives me a headache. Because it smells like strawberries or whatever. I have to pee like a bastard. Can we go now? Okay, we can go. Well, that's it for... Bryce wants to say something which is probably isn't about... What, like... Percentages? Oh. Or puffs? They were even colored on one app. Like, like seriously, they've been eaten and chewed yeah, off and like, licked off and then... Like, like, red on half of it and, like, popsicle stick colored on the other half. And they were assembled into a bench. So it looked like you, it would use popsicle stick. Cool. Now, what ride was this? No, that was the bench. Train, but all of the benches and 
the bugs land are made of popsicle sticks. Everything in bugs land is big. And we are like, The pencils are shoved into the ground for life. Yeah. Honey, Old Valley Mountain needs to be like a racehorse on speed, so we're going to go now. Yay! Yay! So I'll talk to you later. Where is it? Bye-bye.